Hello everyone, if you ever played LEGO Star Wars or played with LEGO Star Wars sets, you know that some of the characters would have LEGO lightsabers. Well, since I grew up playing LEGO Star Wars and playing with the LEGO Star Wars sets, I thought it'd be really cool to design and print a life-size LEGO lightsaber, and that's exactly what I did. In the description, I will leave a link to Thingiverse so you can download your own LEGO lightsaber hill. In Thingiverse, you will find three files. One of the files is a full lightsaber, and the other two files is the lightsaber split in half for easier printing. The next thing to do is download the files you want and import them to Cura. Once you're in Cura, you want to click on the folder icon in the top left corner and locate the LEGO files. Once you got the LEGO hill in Cura, you, make, you want to make sure that they are aligned so that they're both facing down. Once you got them both facing down, these are the settings I use for my CR10. Instead of using Cura's generate support, I added a plugin which allows me to put the supports wherever I like to. Once you've completed putting supports down, the next thing you want to do is name your file and then save your file to an SD card for printing. After 14 hours, my print was done, and the first thing I did was send each side of the print so the super glue could stick really well. At first, it wasn't aligned, but then I used clamps to make sure that the 3D print doesn't move while the glue sets. I let the super glue set for about 30 minutes and the next thing I did was apply Bondo Blaze and Spot Putty all around the print, especially all around the print line so that they're not noticeable after sanding. I had let the spot putty dry for at least a day and then went straight to sanding. I started with 180 grit sandpaper and then moved my way up to 320 grit. Once I was done with sanding, I used Rustoleum Filler Primer which could be bought at any Walmart for about $4. When applying the filler primer, you want to make sure that you add paint everywhere and make sure that the paint seeps into the layer lines. I had let the filler primer dry for about an hour and then went back to sanding. I started sanding all the parts that I missed last time that are now visible through the new layer of paint. Once you're done with the second part of sanding, the next thing you want to do is just apply a flat gray primer all over the print.
Once I was done applying the primer, I decided to apply a, a Rust-Oleum black gloss to make sure that the silver shines. This is where I messed up. I totally forgot to record me spraying the silver spray paint, but here's me spraying the second layer of silver spray paint. Here's the finished product. I think it came out pretty good. Here's some Lego minifigures to show the comparison and how it's supposed to look like. Once you look at it closer, you will notice all the little things wrong with it. In order to prevent this, you just add more Bondo and just sand a lot more. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. My next video will probably be about Boba Fett's carbon rifle and the process and how to build that. Leave a comment down below if you think it came out good for me and tell me if yours came out good. Thank you for watching and have a great day.